not really a beach day, but let me tell you something, Mr. Easy Cooling and Heating in Southern Jersey, your Goodmans, they're just as bad as Navians. You're gonna love this one. Time, timer flash, seven times. BT system. You ain't testing, you're guessing. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Happy Wednesday. I call this hump day. When you get over that hump towards Friday, nothing better than that. And I got a full schedule today on my third job. We'll be here doing a tune-up about a month ago. And um, I told her to replace these systems, but she's like, yeah, this Mikey Pipes, just fill her up, fill her up. And the husband goes, Mikey Pipes, my wife is hot. I gotta get my AC fixed. I'm like, damn straight, there I am. That's me. That's my company. And if you take a peek in there, straight back there. Right there, see that? That's called a filter dryer. Now let me ask you a question, Mr. Easy. Cooling and heating. No hate at all, of course, no hate. Why? It says do not step, see? Do not sit or, or stand. Well, I'm not gonna stand. I'm just gonna hoist myself up here and pull this disconnect with the wrong hand. Why? Because I'm Mikey Pipes. Okay, I'm gonna carefully, carefully get myself down. Let me ask you a question. Why do they put those effing filter dryers right up in there like that? Why do they do that? Please. Let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What possessed Goodman to put their filter dryer inside the condenser where it's like impossible to get to? Now you're gonna say, well, Mikey Pipes, you could take the access cover off. You're right, I can, I can. But first, we're gonna test it with the Elitech electronic lead detector. All right, let's go get it. Check it out. This is the Elitech IR200. It's pretty cool. You know, it checks all these refrigerants. It's got a sensitivity rate of pretty effing good. <laughs> it's rechargeable. By USB-C. Oh my God, USB-C. In case you guys don't know, maybe you're, it's the first time viewing this video or checking out this channel. I love USB-C. And let me tell you why because it's like the next best thing. It doesn't matter which way you stick it in, it's still gonna get charged. And one of the, my biggest turnoffs with Testo's um, 300 model combustion analyzer, which I love. Sorry, interrupted by a phone call. But on the Testo 300 combustion analyzer, they're using the micro USB, right? And it's so stupid, brand new. USB-C's been out for a while already. Why do they use old technology? Everyone's using USB-C, even Apple. I got a new iPhone, right? And the adapter is USB-C and it goes to lightning, right? Anyway, let me get up on this ladder with my Elitech IR200. Compliments of Elitech. And um, thank you for sponsoring the channel. Okay, let's see this thing in action. Hoisting my ass up here. And I'm gonna take it off mute. So you can hear it beep like that. And I'm just gonna shove this in there and wait. See? The effing filter dryer leaking like a sieve. I don't know if you can see that, but she's leaking like a sieve. All right, all right, be quiet, I heard you. Behave yourself. All right, let's take off some of this stuff and take a closer look at what's going on in there. This is not gonna be fun. One-handed mic strikes again. Get in there. One-handedly saving the world. Uh, let's see. Let's take that one off. All right. Yeah, it's, this is not the five ounce one. This is the two and a half. 
broke it. I broke it uh, a week ago before, before the holiday. I was messing with that uh, leak defense system. And I got caught on the doorknob. I got a, a door lever. Come on. And uh, ripped it right off. I'm like, oh, fudge. Oh, fudge. All right, what else do I have to take off this thing? Let me take this panel off as well. I already know what's going to happen here. They're going to want me to replace this filter dryer. What do you think? All right. All the screws lined up right there. Like a nice, like, like toy soldiers. Now, what's left here? This thing, whole thing should come up, right? This whole thing should come up like that, something like that. Huh? Yeah, like that. Who's a man? Who's a man? All right. Let me stop putz around with this fucking thing. Man, I got the stupid thing left too. Hold on, let's go right there. Who's man? You know they do need a new condenser. That's the that's the truth. That's what they need. They need to replace this condenser because I'm literally I'm about well there's the ocean oil over there, but this it's me, Mikey pipes, that house, and the ocean. What's here? All right, now, let's just put that out of the way. Get out of here. I command thee to move the F out of the way. Look at this thing. Wow. <laughs> hey, Mr. Easy, uh, easy, easy cooling and eating. What's up with your boy Goodman? Why is she leaking? Why is she leaking? Let's unmute this bad boy. Get you up in there. Come on. Don't mess with me. Look at that. Yeah. All the way up in there. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Ellie Tech. Make my life a little bit easier, but as I always say, a good technician is observant of his surroundings. If you just look, all the information you need is generally right in front of you. All right, time to go give them a Bosch IDS 2.0 because that's the only kind of equipment I can get right now. <coughs> it's crazy. People don't want to work. All right, what model do I got right here? She's got 24, two ton, all right. Let's see if I can find a two ton Goodman. Because relax, it's a Goodman, right? Let's go see. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> um, so uh, the system is low on refrigerant. You know the Puron that's in it, the gas. And uh, I checked. I leak detected. I leak tested the air handler in the attic. Uh, nothing's there visible. That, you know that side. Yes. Yeah. yeah, the one on the right hand yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nothing's visible there. Uh, with electro I have, you know, we put UV dye in the system last time we were here. Yeah. So we looked for that. None of that's visible. I also have an electronic leak detector. Uh, nothing was detected. Outside is the leak. I found it. Um, technically speaking, the, the part that's leaking can be replaced. Technically speaking. However, because of the... <laughs> but... Technically, the part that's leaking inside the outdoor unit can be replaced, right? However, because of the condition of the system, because you're right on top of the ocean, the salt in the air, uh, it's advised to replace the entire system, the outdoor unit. You don't have to replace the blower inside, right? Because it, it, it uses a newer gas, but I can replace, I can replace the entire uh, outdoor unit, the one that's elevated on that thing. But it was working before. Yes, but now you have a leak, and a part outside rusted, and it's leaking the, the gases. I have uh, 
husband. Okay. We have to talk to your husband. Upstairs is not going to work at all. I can add more refrigerant and buy you some more time, but it's not the right thing to do. But it's you... not blowing in. No, it's blowing. It's blowing. It's blowing. Did you talk to you? What's up? Hi. I don't want to interrupt your busy day. What's going on? Do you want to give me a little bit of money or a lot of money? What? What? Uh... So uh, there's a leak in the system. I found one. It's outside. Okay. There's a part on the uh, inside the unit outside that rusted through. And um, technically, I can replace that part. Technically, um, or you should replace the entire unit well, because of unit. because of the, the condition. All right, so I need some thoughts and feedback. All right, I've put units on roofs before, and I guess I can use a ladder. And me and Mike and I get another guy here, and we could lift it up. But I want to know. In the comment section down below, uh, I want to get some kind of a simple lift that can go up about, let's say, eight feet, right? A lift, a mechanical lift that is small, it's portable, and I can own it. And I don't care if it costs a thousand, two thousand dollars, or five hundred dollars, but you know, I'm not spending thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars, but I want a lift for cases like this, and you know, it helps, you know, make the job safe. Er. So let me get your thoughts and feedback down in the comment section down below. What I should get um, this, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com uh, because we are replacing that condenser, the one that's all right there with a identical one, a Goodman. You happy, easy cooling and heating?